Tropical weather now. Brace yourselves. More snow and cold is on the way. And with that, gusty winds and chilly temperatures, which will impact travel the next couple days. Chief Meteorologist Mike Nelson joins us now. Mike, some major changes are around the corner. They're coming in tonight and tomorrow. Now, it's not going to be as big a storm as what we had last week, but it's going to cause some travel troubles nonetheless. Here's the current radar across the state. You'll notice the heaviest snows are out west, but there's also a mix of some freezing drizzle and snow on the eastern plains. So heaviest snows are along the Uncompagre Plateau at the moment and extending up to Table Mesa, uh, to the to the, uh, Mesa, Grand Mesa, excuse me, freezing drizzle out on the eastern plains. It's not very heavy, but it does not take much of that to really slick things up. I think that might be our bigger issue on the lower elevations of eastern Colorado early tomorrow morning. As far as today, 34 was the high, 23 the low. The averages are 44 and 18, and currently we're sitting at 28 at the airport and 32 downtown. Humidity is high at 96%. Pressure's falling. Winds are out of the east-northeast, which is a good upslope snow direction, 7 miles per hour. Will be cloudy and cold this evening. Temperatures will drop down into the 20s. Some snow may develop a little bit later. Now, the difference with this storm, a split low pressure system. So that tends to stretch out the energy on the storm system. That's not going to give us one big cohesive storm like we had on Wednesday of last week. So by morning, it's some freezing drizzle on the eastern plains, heavy snow, northwest Colorado, one low to the south of us, another one off to the north and east. Morning low temperatures will drop down to the mid 20s and in the mountains, we'll have a few readings in the teens. It's a Pacific storm, so it's relatively cool air as opposed to cold Arctic air and temperatures tomorrow morning will be in the mid to upper 20s. Some freezing drizzle mixed with a little bit of snow on the plains, heavy snow in the mountains during the day tomorrow. The snow will pick up a little bit, but it's not going to be all that heavy over lower elevations. It'll all stay heavy up in the mountains and across the foothills. By late in the day, it'll be windy and cold and kind of snowy and slick. But notice the snow totals kind of scaled back a little bit. We're looking at one to three inches on the plains. We're looking at about four to eight and locally up to about 10 expected in the mountains. So it's a decent storm, but it's not a really big one. It'll be chilly though. Highs only in the low 30s, 20s expected in the mountains. Here's the map across the state. Some 40s, even low 50s over southeast Colorado. Again, that's that second part of the split low pressure system that will still be dragging a little bit of milder air into southeast Colorado tomorrow. Snow, windy and cold across the rest of the state as that low lifts out. Tuesday, we still get some mountain snow showers, just kind of windy and cold again Tuesday. Wednesday's mostly clear, and then another Pacific storm starts to come in by the time we get to Thursday. It'll first bring milder air, and then I think this next one just brings snow to the mountains, and that's going to come in on Friday. So on the seven-day forecast, snow and windy, but not a huge snow, one to three again for lower elevations. We'll keep an action day, though, because some of that freezing drizzle could cause some problems early in the morning. 30 on Monday, 32 Tuesday, Wednesday, mostly sunny and 38. By Thursday, we're up to 47. Mountains get some snow Friday and 45. And next weekend looks relatively dry and cool with temperatures in the low to mid 40s.